back on here. Today's topic is future for drones and beyond. Is South Korea prepared? I'm deeply interested in military science, partly because of the influence I got from my father. My father is a national veteran who served in the military college in Jaunde as one of the military science instructors. But because of his severe lumbar discarnation, he had to retire. So, with the help and advice from my father, I was able to prepare for today's topic. Now, let's talk about it. Imagine this. A group of drones are flying above. These drones are there not only to scout the enemy's base, but to attack them as well with incredible accuracy. These drones were able to dodge all the defense mechanisms and successfully strike their base. Drones are game changer for modern warfare. But is there any way to defend ourselves from these drones' attacks? Also, how do we prepare? Lastly, if more advanced weapons are developed, what steps should we take to protect ourselves? If we neglect this kind of war-related issues and national defense, it's going to pose a great problem to our nation in the future. So, drones are game changer of modern warfare. How so? Let's take a look at some of the examples. Turkey's Bayraktar TB2 drone played a significant role in the nargono karabakh conflict. The drones effectively neutralized Armenia's air defense systems and troops, helping Azerbaijan to win in the war. Because of their affordability, compact size, and reality, they are quite sought after worldwide. Also, Ukraine is remodeling industrial drones to effectively neutralize the Russian army. Even though this drone costs only around $10,000, it can destroy high-quality equipment or weapons that cost millions of dollars. So, how can we defend ourselves from these powerful drones? One way to do it is by developing the technology for electronic warfare. Let me explain. Even though drones have many strengths, it has one weakness, which is communication. We can jam GPS or wireless signals to make enemy drones uncontrollable. For example, the US used a device called the Drone Defender to block signals to the drone, quickly bringing it down. It only takes a press of a button to take down the enemy drone. Later weapons can also be effective. Drones are too small and too fast to be shot down with traditional anti-aircraft guns or missiles. But if we use lasers, we can attack it accurately at the speed of light. For example, Israel's iron beam was shown in action, melting a drone floating in the air. AI-based detection system is another solution. Because drones are so small and usually come in groups, we can't easily detect them with lasers alone. But with AI, we can detect threats in real time by analyzing flying patterns and sounds. In summary, electronic warfare, laser weapons, and AI all play an important role. By developing these technologies, we can minimize the damages that drones can cause. But drones are just the beginning. In the future, there will be weapons greater than drones. One of them includes hypersonic missiles. They fly faster than Mark 5 and can guarantee to neutralize enemy's defense systems. China and Russia are already developing and deploying them. Second, autonomous combat robots. AI-equipped autonomous combat robots can make decisions and be ready for combat. USS Project Maven have demonstrated how AI robots can replace people for war. Third, weaponizing Earth's orbit. If we weaponize Earth's orbit, we can attack anywhere on the Earth with super rapid bombing system. US has been planning growth from God projects where they can destroy a city simply by dropping metal rods from the orbit. So how should we prepare for wars like this? First, I think enhancing our defensive and offensive cyber skills should be our priority. Let me explain the reason for that. The war is no longer being fought only in the field, but there is also a thing called cyber war. 
That's why I think we also need to expand our skills in defending important infrastructure as well as skills to infiltrate enemies' network. Also, we need to develop and reinforce drones and AI technologies. That's because drones and AI are playing an important role in border warfare. Lastly, establishing defensive system on the Earth's orbit while also weaponizing it would be crucial. Reason being, domains such as outer space will make a big difference in future wars. We must acquire the technology that allows us to defend our military sandwich and at the same time being able to promptly disable the enemies. The way we fight the war is changing rapidly. If we just sit around and do nothing, the result will be dire. Wouldn't you agree that the way wars are being carried out will be quite different in the future compared to present day? Korea's future is in our hands. I have a keen desire to enter a computer science course in order to become more professional in AI field, which then I will be able to contribute to AI-related military science in Korea, even if it's not much. If today's video was informative, please like and subscribe. I'll see you again with more interesting topics next time. Thanks for watching my video.